Another question I've received since the project ended was regarding a phone number that people thought they had found encoded and uh, had been calling and uh, asking about Cassandra and they reached a woman that they thought was Cassandra's mother. Uh, they had been speaking with this lady, leaving her voicemails, getting calls back from her. Um, that phone number was not intentionally encoded. That was not related to the project. And some people claimed, I've, I've now seen when I've gone back and read on, on fiction, some people claimed that that woman uh, said she had a daughter named Cassandra who had died. And uh, that was not intentional at all. That was not something I put in the project. I, I have not determined yet if those claims were true, if there's actually a lady at that number who had a daughter named Cassandra. But that was not uh, something that was intentionally encoded. That was an accident. And I had uh, received information through Facebook and through some emails from some of the participants that they had been calling her. And obviously, I don't want something that's uh, a result of one of my projects to cause somebody duress. If there really is some lady who's lost a daughter named Cassandra, and she's getting calls from random people asking about Cassandra, the last thing I want to do is, is cause someone grief unintentionally because of a project of mine. Having said that, I didn't do much in the way of damage control regarding that because something I learned from my prior alternate reality games, especially the Silver Ladder ARG, was not to try to control everything. I spent so much time with the Silver Ladder alternate reality game trying to quell every little game jack that came up that I was spending more time doing damage control than I was working on the project and trying to be creative. And it really took a lot of energy out of me and it really stressed me out. It made the Silver Ladder ARG cease to be fun for a while. And uh, I needed to lighten up. I really did. I was t taking it way too seriously with Silver Ladder. And that's something I told myself that when I started this Hallucinine project, I wasn't going to try to control every little single thing that wasn't within my control to begin with. Because these ARGs, you know, people see every little thing, the period at the end of a sentence means something, and they grab it and they run with it. And if you're constantly trying to, you know, uh, quell disinformation that's out there, you're going to be spending all your time doing that. I've actually learned to embrace the chaos, and I love the things that people think they find and run with it. It's actually become fun to me. And it's particularly good with this ARG, because you're dealing with someone, a main character, Uno, Adam, who is potentially mentally ill. I mean, there's a bit of madness going on. Whether he's really seeing these things or not, there's a very chaotic feel to this whole project, and I really embrace that. Uh, I'm a huge fan of 12 Monkeys. I liked the butterfly effect. Uh, a lot of things like that where, you know, the, the hero of the story is really unstable. I mean, a good person, and, and you want them to do well, but they're, they're kind of out there. And I thought that all of the chaos and disinformation, and it was more than just this phone number, that got spread kind of added to the crazy feel of this project and was kind of bringing all of you into Uno's world a bit. And people were getting kind of, you know, unstable and I, I don't want to say stressed, I wasn't, you know, relishing that, but you know, getting a little nuts about this. And it kind of brought you into the feel of the game. So rather than trying to do damage control, I just let it take its course. I let it develop organically. And also, you know, to flat out overtly come out and address, oh no, you're calling the wrong phone number as Uno or Adam, to me would seem really awkward and kind of break the this is not a game ethic. Um, it, it didn't seem like it would be in Uno's nature to be like, oh, you're not talking to Cassandra's mom, to spend too much time addressing that. Uno's got his own problems. He's off in his own little world dealing with these constant streams of sounds and images and potential time travel and, you know, visions that he's not necessarily going to spend much time worrying about a phone number that you're calling or not. And so, long story short, no, I have no idea who that woman is. Uh, like I said, I haven't independently confirmed if those rumors were true, if there's really a lady at that number who had a daughter named Cassandra that died. I'm certainly not going to call now and ask her. Unfortunately, if it is true, she's been through enough grief as it is. But I hope you understand my reasoning for not really trying to address that and control it, you know, and, and try to spend so much time keeping this project in this neat little box. It was a chaotic project. It was a chaotic story. It's chaotic fiction. And that was some chaos that you brought to it. 
And I embraced that. I thought it was fun. Hope that answers your question. Anyway, those are the two questions that I've received so far regarding hallucinine. If you have more, uh, please send them to me. You can post them on Uno Hallucinine's Facebook wall. You can send them to Uno Hallucinine as a private message on Facebook, as an email through the Hallucinine website, or you can send it to me directly through my personal Facebook page, uh, my Shane Watson Silver Ladder Facebook page. My username on Facebook is Silver Ladder, uh, or you can reach me on MySpace. My username on there as well is Silver Ladder. Um, you can send them to me through any of those methods. And if you have additional questions, what I'll do is I'll make a couple more video installments uh, to get those answered, and they'll be put up on YouTube and then embedded, posted on Uno's Facebook page and my own personal Facebook page as well. If you haven't added me on Facebook yet uh, as Shane Watson, please do so. Once again, my Facebook uh, page is facebook.com slash silverladder. Uh, once again, myspace.com slash silverladder. Or you can reach me through my website, silverladder.com. My email address at silverladder.com is shane at silverladder.com. That's S-H-A-N-E. Thank you again for the questions. Thank you for the support. And uh, I look forward to getting to talk with you more in the future and hopefully somewhere down the road uh, doing another project that uh, you can participate in. Uh, but I'd have to say right now I'm going to be taking a break for quite a while from anything intentionally alternate reality game related. Uh, I need to start putting some more work back into silverladder.com, which that domain is my main online focus and has been since 1999. So it's nice to have uh, met you all in the virtual sense through this project, and I'm glad that even though it ended prematurely, uh, people seem to have gotten something out of it. So thank you again, and I hope to talk to you soon. Please send me your questions. Thanks.